the larger Kisumu area has the best black cotton soil. Growing up, cotton was the only agricultural uh, activity that used to happen in Homer Bay. And we used to have the Homer Bay Ginary. As we speak today, the Ginary is closed and there's no any sign of cotton, uh, cotton plantations there and there's no sign or any intervention by the government to, to bring back the cotton, uh, uh, the cotton issue back to Oma Bay. Kindly, as you go to Busia Buenasias, kindly remember to bring back cotton to where cotton belongs. Then that will see the comeback of Oma Bay cotton ginery and the revival of Kikomi, which was one of the biggest textile companies that was being uh, supplied by the farmers in that region. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Jalango. Uh who is the member next to you? Honorable Kukaunya, yes. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wanted uh, to ask the minister to give us an assurance that uh, the idea of launching will be followed up with a serious, robust uh, a distribution of seeds to farmers. Mr. Speaker, the reason I'm saying we need the assurance is two years ago the launching of BT Cotton was done in Busia. I attended that ceremony, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the promise that was given was seeds will be available to farmers. Uh, the following year, to date, the seeds have not been availed. And Mr. Speaker, I wanted to ask also the minister the traditional cotton seeds that were being given by the ministry to farmers as we await this transition, could that provision be availed to farmers as we await for the, to the full production of beet cotton seeds? Mr. Speaker, the last question I wanted Only to ask. Only one. You are a joy rider. You can't ask three questions. That's uh, enough, Honorable Kaunya. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for that opportunity. Thank you. Minister? Mr. Speaker, I want Let's to... Let's take one more minute. I want to give... Hold, hold on. Honorable... Honorable Kirima. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. My humble question to the minister is that uh, we are taking cotton to Busia, where Honorable Salesia has talked about. Can the minister tell us that all the former cotton growing areas are going to benefit from this uh, bit cotton, especially Meru, Central Menti, whereby we have a rye generally, which has no cotton up to, uh, up to date to me because there is no cotton on the ground. And this cotton, which is going to come, can the minister guarantee us that he is going to make sure that fertilizer is going to be distributed to the sub counties constituencies because as we stand counties are too large that fertilizer is mainly going to count and quarters and it's very inconveniencing to uh, farmers especially as well farmers who cannot afford transport to go to the end quarters which is full of cattails <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Minister, you can answer those. Three. Mr. Speaker, I appreciate the concerns of the honourable members, and uh, let me uh, assure them that under the Kenya Kwanza Plan and the bottom-up economic uh, transformation agenda, cotton is one of the key value chains that this government is really serious on, and under. Uh, AFA, we have our own directorate of cotton to promote the growth of these fiber crops.